Okay, let's try this again. All right, so I have a one wheel. It's the original. Um, I have removed the battery pack, which there are other videos out there that show you how to do that. So I didn't figure it would feel like that was a big deal. Um, but I have scoured the internet on information about the battery um, because I have an issue where it cuts out at about 58, 59%. Um, and just says it needs to be recharged, says it needs juice. Um, and essentially what ends up happening is it'll either start to slow down and uh, I'm kind of more balancing on my own with very little motor power um, or it will just cut out completely. Um, it does warn me via the app. I usually have my iPhone out and uh, I've got the app open and so I can see, you know, it gives me a little bit of warning beforehand. It's never just cut out on me. Um, I do wonder if a lot of people that say, oh, the board just cut out on me, I wonder if they just don't have the app open or, you know, looking at it on a regular basis. But um, but I do tend to do that, um, which has helped. I kind of know what's going on with the board. I bought it secondhand used um, just about a month ago. Um, put about 60 miles on it so far, and it's been great. But again, it cuts out at 58%, which is not that awesome. So I can only get a maybe three miles, maybe four if I really push it before it cuts out. Um, obviously calibration's probably not right with the app. I know that's an issue, but uh, I've done the calibration stuff that is all over the uh, online, drain it completely, um, you know, pull it back, uh, you know, fill it back up and wait 48 hours, 72 hours, whatever it may be, and it'll rebalance. I've tried that, doesn't work. So onward to information about the battery. So I found some people speculating on what it was in the one wheel. Um, I found some information confirming that both the original one wheel and the one wheel plus have the same battery. It's only the XR that has 18650 cells. Um, but this one, uh, here is the pack. So I pulled it out and it had, here, I'll actually just sit it back in here for a moment. Um, it had some, uh, some cables and connectors and whatever going to this board. Um, you can kind of see, you know, maybe this is for the lights, uh, for the um, LEDs. Uh, these are for the BMS, for the pack itself. Um, you've got one actual, here, I'll move that entirely. This is the, the set of uh, cables coming directly from the pack uh, for the 58 volts. Um, this is the one going back out underneath. I'll move the uh, the pack for a second here. Um, going back underneath here out to the main cable to the one wheel. Okay, so in between, you've got it. Now, well, let me flip it over. Um, it goes through the board as well. Um, and this is the BMS board. So anyway, um, pull that out. BMS looks fine. Um, you can kind of see here real quick. There's no corrosion. There's no issues. Um, that's something that people note online, but it is shiny and crystal clear and no, I did not clean it. It, is, it looked exactly like this coming out of the board. So anyway, um, I, you can see here, it is a 12.8 volt, uh, 6.9 amp, 88.32 watt hour battery made in China. All right, but I went ahead and peeled this back real quick. So one more information. I wanted to know exactly what these cells are made of. So let's see if I can get my thumb underneath there. And you can see, hopefully, uh, let me peel that back so you can see it. Um, ANR 26650s. So the funny thing is, um, so use uh, LI, what is it, FEPO4. Um, the lithium phosphates. So they don't get as much power as 18650s. Um, you know, you can get 18650s now up to almost 4,000, um, you know, milliamps, but these are only rated at, I think, 22, if I recall. Um, regardless, the ANR company that, that makes these um, is no longer in existence, but a company out of Texas actually makes them. They bought the rights to them. So again, I'm going to pull that up here and our 26650s. Um, there's a company out of Texas that, uh, that makes these batteries. Um, and so I ordered a brand new one from them. Um, I peeled this back too. You'd probably be interested in seeing this. Hold on one sec. There we go. Peel that off entirely because I'm pulling the whole thing apart here in a moment. But there is the serial number and battery pack, uh, part number for the one wheel 
um, again, the original one wheel. Um, so yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull this whole thing apart. Um, I have already gone through, and again, there's another video out there, but I just kind of started um, with my multimeters on these pins. I started from the black on this side, and you put them right next to each other, and it says, and I've drained it completely down to, well, I've drained it down to the 58 volts, that it's, or 58 uh, percent that it says it has. Um, I think it's like 52 volts currently um, that it shows. So I put the uh, the multimeter on those two, and it shows like 3.24 volts. Um, and then I went over the next pins and the next pins and so on and so forth, and until you get to the end of the red here on this side, um, and then you jump over to the black on this side and does, and you know, again, bridging across both of these is 3.24 and then you continue on, you know, both these pens, 3.24 and so on, so on, so on, so on, right? So you get through all of them. Well, actually it's the second set. I got pretty lucky. So it's not this first pen right here, but these second two, um, right there, if you can see those, um, that immediately these two red leads right there, um, these first two red ones. Um, that reads 2.24. Um, so it is almost an entire, well, it is a full volt underneath everything else. So I know it's a dead cell. So the BMS in here is pretty smart because while initially when I fully charge it, it'll say 58 volts, um, almost immediately it drops down to like 54. So it's dropping off one cell entirely. Um, you know, and... Uh, or well, I guess it's 55 and or 54 and some change or something like that. But um, but it drops an entire cell almost immediately. So uh, clearly it's not holding a charge and it's not holding um, you know a power for any length of time. And so I just need to figure out which one of these individual cells um, is actually the issue. So I'll trace these leads back. Um, again, test the actual pack with the multimeter. Um, they have a tremendous amount of tape. I don't know if you can see, it's like the packing tape ribbed. Um, it's all the way around here, plus this blue covering. Um, but I'm gonna pull all that off and, uh, and just redo it. So yeah, anyway, that's my video. Uh, hopefully that gives somebody some additional information that they didn't have before. Um, I will maybe post another video when it's all done or maybe a follow up with what exactly I did when I have it torn down a little bit more. But uh, again, hope that helps somebody out there because uh, I scoured the internet and found very little information. Um, clearly, yes, my board is out of warranty. So if anybody is like, but you shouldn't do that. You, you'll void your warranty. Well, I'm pretty darn sure it's gone. So anyway, uh, thanks guys. Talk to you later. Bye.